we have a green light on the inverter dongle, which means the connection is not connected to the Wi-Fi network at your place. So we have set up a gas network 2.4 gigahertz already, and the dongle has a QR code, and at the back of the dongle, there is a serial number and check code. So the dongle has two versions. When is the serial number start with 4B and when is start with 5B? So the configuration method is a little bit different. First, if you click this button underneath the dongle, just click it once, it will go to blue and constant blue. If you click it again, and then it will go to all lights on. So you can see this like kind of three color of different color of light. If it doesn't work, or if you didn't see it change the color, what you can do, you can see there's a twist button on top of this, just to twist it clockwise and remo remove it and leave it for five seconds, then put it back and uh, twist it anti-clockwise and then you have reset the dongle if the light still on all color you just hold the button or click it once again is once the data logger's light becomes blue we need to click configure wi-fi data logger and then scan the qr code on the data logger it will automatically read the data logger and just click yes for next all right make sure your network is connected to the data logger now so if we close the shine phone app if we close the shine phone app and goes to settings and just to make sure you're connected to the xgd 5b this is the data logger network connect to that one please and the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once it linked, sometimes if you use an Android phone or iPhone, it will show weak security or no internet connection. That's 100% right, because you are connecting to the dongle's Wi-Fi network. The dongle is not a router, so it doesn't connect to the internet. So now let's go back to the ShineFone app. And uh, we already scanned the QR code. So now let's go to the hotspot mode. So after you scan this one, it will ask you for the standard mode or the hotspot mode. If you, let's go back, not go back. Connect to the Wi-Fi dongle network first. Yeah, then go back to the here. Yeah. All right, click yes. All right, so now if your network is connected to the Wi Fi dongle network, it will ask you to switch to the available network, which need to be your home network. So, because there's no internet connection, and then uh, it won't allow you to do the settings. So, you need to go back to your settings and change the network to the, to the, to the guest network that we just created and go back to the shine phone app and click yes again and then click the hotspot mode sometimes the hotspot mode was will, will be freezing if what you do is just go click go back and just click click go back and click the hotspot mode again if it is freezing all right so now it will ask you to hold a button press the data logger button, enter the hotspot mode. So for this case, we've already on the hotspot mode. When the data logger's light is blue, constant on, that means we've already on the hotspot mode. Then click next. All right, the name of Wi-Fi need to be this. So at this stage, we need to connect to the Wi-Fi dongles network. So let's go to the settings again and connect to the XGD5B. Click OK and try it again. Yep, let's go back. Click Next. 
Yeah, so now it will ask you new version detected. Do you want to download the data logger update version first? Always click yes. All right, let's wait it wait for it to finish. Once it's done, the up, upgrade of the firmware, we click next. And now we can choose the Wi-Fi network in our home that we just created, which is the guest network. It should be showing here. And then put the guest network password that we set up. Yeah, and uh, just click configure immediately. Well, for this case, it looks like it's still configuring when it's 77%. But the good thing is I can see the data logger already got a flashing blue light, which means the data logger's connection between the router and the data logger has already been connected. So we just wait for this to be finished. All right. It says configuration failed, but uh, don't worry about it. Just go back. As long as you see the flashing light is blue flashing, that means it's connected. So now you can register your account or you can use the account that you already registered to log into your account. And in this case, the customer has created an account and if it were it didn't scan the data logger it, it didn't scan the data logger yet so we can scan it or you can click skip and it will lead you back to the dashboard page but however it won't show any figure because there's no data logger connected to, to it so let's click the add, add data logger button and scan the data logger You can also turn on the light when you scan it. So in this case, the data log light is already flashing blue and then we can click next. So this way will lead you to the standard mode and we can try the standard mode. Click next and go to set. Let's connect to grow it and go back next. And the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Configure immediately. And let's wait for it to be configured. All right, so now it shows configuration successfully. And let's return to the power station. So now we can see the system is generating and the figures start to come through. So now the information and all things has been done correctly. As long as you see the, so through the whole steps, the most important thing is make sure the data logger has a flashing blue light. If you see different color of the light, that means the data logger is not connected to your router. So just to keep trying those methods again, it should get linked. All right, good luck.